I feel like I had a sneeze. Good morning, Nate fam. Welcome back to another episode of Monday Mornings with Sarah and T. It is Monday and we actually had a little bit of a late start today. Um, it is almost 10 a.m. We went to a movie last night, we got back, stayed up for a little while, so we ended up going to bed pretty late. Um, so we have a little bit of a late start, but I am making some breakfast. Terrence is getting the laundry going. If you are new here, welcome to our channel. Welcome to The Neat Life. We hope you become a part of The Neat Fam. We hope you subscribe. Um, and we hope you join us every Monday for just the start of the week with us. We like to um, chat with you guys a bit, share a breakfast with you, and wish you a lovely week. Um, so yeah, we're here. Like I said, if you are new here too, like we are off Sundays and Mondays, which is why we do a Monday video. Um, we treat Mondays like our Sundays, so it's like the day that we are at home. We do all of our like laundry, you know, just housework or errands, whatever. Um, so yeah, Terrence is getting the laundry going. I got breakfast going. And then we're gonna chat with you guys about the movie and about our plans tonight too. Okay, so I'm actually frying some potatoes and scrambling with egg. And then we're gonna have a side of chicken and maple breakfast sausage. So I really love this brand, but I haven't bought it for us. I've had it somewhere else. I can't remember where, it's the Applegate. Um, so it'll be Terrence's first time trying it, but I really enjoy it. And I really, what I really wanted to make this morning um, was uh, like an egg white and sweet potato scramble. Cause that's like one of my favorites. And I feel like it would be really good with this chicken sausage, but when I did my grocery run, they were out of stock of egg whites, which was annoying, but we're going to stop at the store later today. So I'll probably pick some up and do the sweet potato and egg white scramble on another morning. Um, but either way, we're going to have some of these paired with our regular potato and eggs this morning. So I told them we went to see the movie last night. Oh, I didn't even tell them the name of the movie, though. So me, fam. <laughs> we went to see... Cocaine Bear. Cocaine Bear last night. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we yeah, we went to see Cocaine Bear last night, and what do you, what do you think? Give me your thoughts. Um, <laughs> well, I liked it. It cracked me up. Had me laughing. Yeah. Very gory. It, Very gory. It was like gross gory. So like, mm -hmm. yeah, it was like the just really like disturbing gory. Way gorier than I thought it was going to be, but... It was good though. It was funny. And it I, had some funny parts in there. It had, a, it, had, it had a lot of funny parts in there actually. And like I said, a lot of blood, a lot of gore. Very graphic. Which I'm not a fan of gore. But like, you watch Grey's Anatomy though. That's different. That's gory it's human too. human body though. It's not like... There's human bodies in there too. But they're not being murdered. Like they're being, they're being saved. They're being rescued. He doesn't get it. Okay, so yes, I can watch a lot of doctor shows, watch people get cut open, and it doesn't affect me the way it does like when I see like horror gore. Like horror <laughs> gore is disgusting and I have to close my eyes. I can't look at it, it freaks me out. <laughs> see, I'm the opposite. I can watch this stuff, but- You can't watch the human body. I can't watch the human body being worked on. Like, I don't know, it's something, something about it, I don't know. <laughs> Um, it's weird, but great movie by the way though. It was it was actually really good. It was I I enjoyed watching it mm -hmm. and it was a lot funnier than I thought it would be. It had like really um it had good actors in it. Mm-hmm. And um it was literally about a bear that got a hold to some drugs and did a lot of it and just went crazy in the forest on people. Well, I mean if you know the real story if you don't know the real story, look it up because it's based on true. It's a true story. Obviously it was dramatized for the film Hollywood. to make a movie but there is a real story about the cocaine bear um which i actually just heard like a week ago i didn't know that it was based on like a real thing and once i found out it was based on a real thing then i was like interested in watching the movie mm -hmm. so anyway seven and a half eight out of ten yeah okay eggs and potatoes are done terrence is good on the sausage wait you've never had that sausage right i told him you've never had that one Never had this one before. It's uh, the chicken and maple. But I'm always excited to try new things, so. I love it. It looks good. Yeah. Terrence is being so random right now. He's like, I'm gonna eat a pickle before breakfast. Mm -hmm. So random. I love pickles. I love them too, but it was just. But I already put a dagger in them, but. These are so good. 
<laughs> yeah, like a like a coworker at my job, their uh, niece or whatever. Like that's a little side hustle. She sells uh, pickles in a jar. So they're like the the spicy vinegar. Yeah, it's like jalapenos. Uh, so good. Vinegar. Um, some other stuff in here. Some onions. It's a whole bunch of stuff in there, but they're really spicy. But they're really good. They're spicy, but they're delicious. <laughs> See now I'm great. Now I'm now my mouth is watered for one. They ain't had it, man. We've been had it for a while. I've just been marinating They've in just it. Just been marinating in there. Ooh, that's spicy. If you like spicy vinegar, like or well, I guess all pickles have vinegar. But if you like like spicy pickles, those are so good. But I also like like the just like this like from the store, the zesty bread and butter. Those are so good. Um, so anyway, some more random things I wanted to share with you guys this morning. I found out two really random things. Babe, are you going to flip those? Yeah. <laughs> I found out two random things about Terrence over the weekend that I did not know about him. And I just thought... It was <laughs> Do you even know what I'm talking about? I know exactly what you thought about. I just thought it was funny. I was like, I have to share this because when people say like you never really stop learning things about like your partner or your husband or whoever, um, whoever you live with, like it's so true. Like we've been together for almost eight years and I just learned, well, first of all, I learned on the way home yesterday, we were passing by a party city and I was like, that's a really small party city. And he was like, you know, I've only been to Party City twice and that was with you. And the whole time that, that we went, like those two times that we went, I didn't even know that he had never ever been to a Party City before. That is facts. You never told me that. That is facts. I've only been twice. Uh, we haven't been there in a long time, but. It was so random. But like. But when we did went, it was with you. And I had no idea like he had never been in there before, like the fir very first time. Anyway, I just thought it was random because I like grew up going to Party City. Like that's the store you go to for all the things. Any birthday, like a Halloween, like Party City, Party City. So that surprised me. And then yesterday we were listening to music as we were getting ready to go to the movie. And I found out that he's never heard of SPM, which I mean, probably a lot of you haven't either. He's a Houston rapper, but he made it like his name was pretty big, like just like Paul Wall and Mike Jones, like in that era, Slim Thug, Slim Thug, like in that era of, of rappers. So I was surprised he had never heard of him. I was like, you've never heard of South Park Mexican? He's like, nope. Never in my and life. And I was like, not even like this song. And I played him like Wiggy. I don't know if you, let me know if you, if you know what I'm talking about. If you don't. Know. I mean, what you was playing yesterday, it sound cool. It sounds know? like Houston's. Yeah, like, it's, it's definitely from the South. It's definitely from Texas. Yeah. Like, it has Houston written all over it. Yeah. But. But, Never heard of him until she started playing it the other day. Yeah, it was or just, yesterday. It was just so random, and I was really surprised by that. Let me know if you've ever heard of SPM. Yes. <laughs> Here you go. I'm so hungry. Oh, so hungry. My tummy so hungry. I'm ready to eat. So hungry. I could get. That. I, could, I That's a good jingle. <laughs> you know, no, it's that simple for. Yeah, of course. Lonely. I'm so hungry. I'm so hungry. I'm so hungry. That's so high pitched. <laughs> Met a girl last night. Wait, how does it go? I don't remember the lyrics. <laughs> oh, me. Oh, I remember the uh, chorus. And for her, I was seen. And for her, I was dreaming. So I had to take a little ride. I used to love that song. Hey, God, young Jesus. <laughs> okay, this has turned into like millennial. Like, okay, so breakfast is ready. Um, and like you said, we're very hungry. Especially since we like slept in and like, yeah, it's time to eat. But tonight, actually, we, his mom invited us over for dinner and a movie. So we're looking forward to that. She's making She's something making delicious we're looking forward to. One of our favorite dishes that she makes, uh, the chicken and noodles. Chicken and noodles. And she said some, she said some cornbread. Some cornbread. Donna, if you're watching this, cause she does watch our videos, by the way. You go eat your cornbread. <laughs> we're very excited. <laughs> 
I'm very excited for dinner tonight. But um, yeah, so we're gonna watch a movie, hang out with her, have some dinner. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna get laundry and stuff done. I also have some spring cleaning and decorating videos coming soon. So stay tuned for that. Love you, Ma. Mama. <laughs> so happy Monday, everyone. Last but not least, another week, another good fight ahead of us. So as always, stay 10 toes down, keep fighting the good fight, and have a great week. You need it. Bye.